hello and welcome to this video we're going to start by creating our canva in this case i'm going to be using 1920 by 1080 pixels and for the resolution and other settings these are my settings you can go ahead and copy everything color profile adobe rogb and all that i'll just go ahead and hit on create Our Canva is going to appear like this. The first thing I want to bring into my Canva is going to be the cloud. And this is going to be our cloud. I will just go ahead and hit on OK. And now I will need to resize it to make it fit to the Canva. And once it's OK to my taste, I will just hit on Enter for my keyboard. And this cloud, I would like us to have a light in this part and every other part should not be bright. And for me to do that, firstly, I want to rename the cloud. I would just like to be organized. I'm going to name my layer sky. And now I want to create another layer. Okay. Once I have my layer like this, I will hit on B for my keyboard to have the brush tool. And I want to select this color, this color right here. I want to select this color and paint over it just like this. I want to create that type of vignette in felt around the sky. Okay. Just like this. You can increase the size. Okay. Now it's better. Okay. Okay. I want to have just a light in felt. On this part right here and once I have it like this now I need to create another layer again in this case I want to reduce the size of my brush reduce it something like this is okay and I want to make sure the foreground color is white and once I have it like this I will need to go ahead and increase the opacity of the brush maybe to like 100 and leave the flow to be like 45 and I'm just going to click here and click many times. Okay, I just need this type of effect right here to be as if there is more inside the sky. And once I have it like this, I can hold down the shift button on my keyboard and select all the layer. Now I want to go ahead and hit on Ctrl G to group everything. I'm going to rename this group to be sky. And once I have it like this, I want to go ahead to the adjustment layer and go back to the color balance the kind of color I need is this type of cyanish color okay you can choose any color of your choice I'm going to leave you all the materials that we are going to use in this video okay this type of result that I need and the next thing I need to do is to bring in the landscape this is going to be where our main object is going to stand on and the viper Firstly, I want to go ahead and hit on enter. I only need this landscape, only this part, and not the mountain and the sky. And what I need to do is to come back to the quick selection tool. And I want to increase the size of my brush and drag over the landscape just like this. Okay, erase this part that is not needed. I hold it down the alt. This part is not in there, it's okay like this. And now I just need to go ahead and hit on the layer mask to have it selected just like this. And I still need to go ahead and rename my layer to be land. What I need to do right now is to flatten this land a little bit. And for me to do that, I'll just go ahead and hit on Ctrl T. And once I hit on Ctrl T, I can go ahead and flatten this land just like this. It's okay like this and hit on the good sign then on the layer i just want to feather these sharp edges and for me to do that i want to hit on b to have the brush tool reduce the size a little bit and now i want to flatten and blend some of these sharp edges it's like the brush is too harsh i want to go ahead and reduce the opacity to be like 50 okay and maybe increase the size and flatten it just like this through the sharp edges okay it's perfect
perfect. Now that I have it like this, let me color match and blend it to this sky. And for me to do that, I want to come back to the adjustment. But before then, this color balance that we created for the sky, we need to clip it to the sky group. I want to hit on the color balance so that I have the parameters. And now I want to clip it to the sky. Now we are okay. Come over to the land layer and come over to the adjustment. Firstly, I want to select levels and make sure to always clip it to the layer in question. Remove some of the highlights and also add some contrast to the background. And I'll still go ahead and remove some of the highlight just like this. Once I reduce some of the highlights, the next thing that I need to do is to come out to the adjustment again. And this time around, I want to choose color balance. Always clip it to the layer in question and make it the mid-tone to be this kind of cyanish color. Okay, and turn the yellow to be a little more blue, like this. This cyanish, like this, okay, not perfectly fine, but we can work with this. And the next thing I can possibly do is to go back to the hue and saturation. Always clip it to the layer in question, make it to be this cyanish more. And this time around, reduce the saturation. Okay, reduce the saturation like this. And maybe the highlight a little bit. Like this is perfect and it's okay. And this is it for this video. I'm going to see you in the next video and we will continue from where we stop.